Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. In this video, I'm going to explain the code related to uh, developing and training the uh, multiple linear regression model, predicting the values as well as evaluating it using R square and adjusted R square metric. This is the continuation of previous video, so stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire complete knowledge. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So let me open my uh, Jupyter Notebook real quick. So in the last video, we actually left at this particular point where we uh, generated the one hot encoding of categorical column called city. All right. And then uh, after that, I printed the int values related to this feature matrix. So you can see that the first three columns are nothing but one hot encoded values of city column. So let's move on to the next cell, uh, which is this one okay where we are getting rid of a dummy variable called Chicago okay so in the next cell I'm just removing one of the dummy variable okay and in in my case I'm removing the Chicago column okay so if you want to get more details on the reason behind that then please click on the I button above so here I'm removing the first column which is index 0 column okay and I'm keeping all the rows of the data set uh, selecting all the columns uh, starting with index 1 here okay so that's what it represents here and hence I'm excluding the index 0 column okay by making use of this particular code so in a nutshell what I'm doing here is I'm actually uh, removing this dummy variable variable in order to uh, avoid the dummy variable trap okay and I have already explained in the previous videos, in fact, in the interactive video that we, whenever we have um, multiple uh, dummy variables, then we have to remove uh, at one dummy variable from it. Okay. So since we have three dummy variables, I am uh, actually removing one dummy variable, hence keeping only two dummy variable here in order to avoid the dummy variable trap. Okay. Please note that a linear regression library automatically takes care of this step and uh, we need not to include this line uh, but I am including this line here just so that you know that we need to remove the uh, remove one uh, dummy variable out of three in order to avoid multicollinearity or uh, avoid the uh, dummy variable trap okay and in the next cell I am displaying uh, the values where you can see that the first column which was Chicago column is removed now okay so we have only Mumbai Tokyo and rest of the three columns moving on so in the next cell I am uh, basically splitting our data into training and test data set keeping training data set size as 70% and test data set as 30% so I'm mentioning the test size as 0.3 which is nothing but 30% of records will go into test data set okay and the random state parameter is set uh, as zero here okay uh, so that we can uh, you know we all can get the same result this is basically necessary sometimes if you want to recreate the same result because these algorithms uh, showcase some random behavior sometimes so it would be pretty easy for us if we could get all the same results hence uh, keeping this parameters value as zero then I wanted to see the size of the X train feature matrix. So I did len and in brackets X underscore train and we got the result as 35 which is indeed 70% of uh, 50 because we in total we have 50 observations in our data set. So 70% of 50 observations is 35. So our training data set has 35 uh, records. So now we are ready to train our uh, multiple linear regression model since uh, now we have training as well as test data set ready. So in the next cell I am first importing uh, the linear regression class 
from scikit learns a linear underscore model package okay and in the next line i am creating object of this linear regression class by calling the linear regression followed by parenthesis and i am naming this object as mlr okay in the next line i am fitting this uh, multiple linear regression or mlr model on our training data set using the method called fit okay so first we take this object mlr object followed by dot and then name of the method which is fit method and then inside the parenthesis we need to provide the data sets on which uh, data set on which we need to fit our model okay so in our case it's training data set and we provided both uh, independent variable uh, called x train and dependent variable called y train and when we executed this cell we instructed our multiple linear regression model to fit on training data so that it can predict the profit based on independent variables like miscellaneous expenses food innovation spent advertising mumbai and tokyo columns now we can find out the value for uh, constant a0 and coefficients like a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 using methods like intercept underscore and m uh, coef underscore okay so when i ran the cell uh, we got the constant value as 51010.16 and the coefficients values are listed here okay so in the next cell uh, which is uh, this cell okay i am basically predicting the profit using a method called predict okay so this is the method so i'm using a uh, mlr object followed by dot and then name of the method called predict okay in order to provide the prediction so i'm utilizing the tested uh, data set features that is x test uh, such as uh, miscellaneous expenses food innovation spend advertising mumbai and tokyo to make these profit predictions please note that x test data is is still not seen by our model so this is uh, this particular data set is kind of fresh or unseen to our model and hence i am providing it as input to our model so that we can uh, find out the predictions so when i ran the cell it created a vector of predictions of test set uh, profit called y predict so y predict will contain predicted profit values of all the observations in the test data set so when i ran the cell uh, it generated the profit values predicted by uh, our multiple linear regression model in the next cell i created a data frame to a data frame uh, name of which is df to showcase the actual uh, profit values uh, depicted by uh, y test and uh, predicted profit values depicted by y predict uh and i wanted to actually showcase them side by side so that's why i have created this data frame so the whole intent was to uh, compare both actual as well as uh, predicted values or the predicted profit values side by side so let's compare the actual uh, values as well as predicted uh, profit values so let's pick a y test cell uh, the first value for which is 113 four six four dot three eight this is the actual profit of the particular uh, restaurant now if we see the um, uh, if we see the y predict values the model predicted the profit value as one one four four six four dot seven six this is pretty much uh, you know close to actual value of one one three four six four dot three eight right so let's pick another record let's say uh, we want to pick the record number Three here, okay, which is this one, right? So here, actual value was eight seven nine eight zero dot eight three, and the predicted value was eight two seven seven eight two seven six six dot seven seven, which was again uh, relatively close to actual value. So you can see that all of these uh, values make good predictions here, right? Moving on. in the next cell i am trying to make a prediction uh, for a single record okay and hence i first created a vector of single record called single obs and then i converted into a feature array here okay 
so the values i provided uh, were for uh, mumbai tokyo uh, miscellaneous expenses food innovation spend and then the advertising here so here one zero represent that the city is mumbai here okay so we are talking about mumbai city or we are talking uh, that we want to open a restaurant or this that particular restaurant chain wants to open a restaurant in mumbai so then i converted it into feature array here using np dot array function then i did some reshaping to make it uh, suitable for machine to read and in the next line i used uh, mlr dot predict method uh, providing feature array as input argument or input parameter to predict the profit value so when i ran the cell the profit came as 174223 dollars and 21 cent which means that if we want to open a uh, restaurant in uh, mumbai and uh, we have a desired uh, uh, expense or the miscellaneous expense of this amount uh, food innovation uh, spend of this amount as well as uh, we can spend on advertising uh, this much amount then we would get a profit a predicted profit of 174223 dollars and 21 cents and please note that i have used a round function here uh, to showcase uh, the profit value up to two decimal places in the next two cells i am evaluating our uh, multiple linear regression model using r square and adjusted r square metric if you want to know more in detail about these two evaluation metric then you can click on the i button above so we can calculate the r square metric value by making use of scikit learn's package called metric here here we can use function or method called r2 underscore score uh, which is this method and provide the actual observation a data set which is y test as well as uh, the predicted observations dat data set which is y predict as parameter so when i ran the cell we got the r square value as uh, 0. Point, roughly 0. 0.94 which is close to 1 and hence depicting that our model is good i also cal calculated the adjusted r square in the next cell where i kept number of observations as 50 and the number of independent variables were 5 and uh, when i ran the cell the adjusted r square value came as 0. 0.93 which is uh, Again, depicting that our model is uh, really doing good. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I uh, showed the code related to uh, developing and training our multiple linear regression model. Then I uh, predicted uh, the profit value using our test data set as well as providing a single record value. And then later on, I uh, basically evaluated our multiple linear regression model using a metric like r square and adjusted r square so let me ask you a question from today's video uh, why did we remove uh, first column depicted by index 0 from the data set before we split our data set into training and test set please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to the channel uh, then consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering the next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you